The United Kingdom is undergoing a phenomenal socio-cultural demographic transformation, unprecedented in any long-settled society outside of war or pestilence, such as the Black Death or some such, as we mentioned yesterday with Kate Hoey. Certain demographic shifts fascinate the media. For example, the very slight adjustments between unionists and nationalists in Northern Ireland. If the number of Protestants in County Fermanagh declines by 27 and the number of Catholics inches up by 34, the BBC is happy to run in-depth analyses showing that loyalism is dead and about to be shoveled into the landfill of history. But some rather more startling demographic shifts pass without comment by the media big boys. Yesterday, my colleague Nigel Farage tweeted out the latest numbers from the Office of National Statistics, which he summarized as follows. According to the ONS figures, London, Manchester and Birmingham are now all minority white cities, to which Sajid Jabbit, remember him? He was uh, late Majesty's Principal Secretary of State for Health. We kept trying to get him on the show and he kept giving us the bums rush night after night. Anyway, Sajid Jabbit responded to Nigel's observation as follows. So what? So what? Don't you just love the crap servative party? Mr. Jabbit is the quintessential crap servative man. Yes, yes. I know calling those guys over there the crap servative party isn't exactly Noel Card level brittle wit. I'm not going to be elbowing Oscar Wilde out of the dictionary of quotations with that one. But to be honest, after 12 years of crap servitism, the crap servitive party doesn't merit anything witty or amusing or sophisticated, so frankly, I can't be bothered. However, if you don't like me renaming them the crap servitive party, why don't we tip our hat to Sajid Jabbit and rename this unlovely collection of buffoons, shysters, and sellouts the So What Party? Sing it, Sajid! Oh, look, here's an 87 year old man waiting 15 hours for an ambulance. So what? Oh, my energy bill seems a tad higher than it used to be. So what? Oh, the tax burden is the highest since 1948. Altogether now says Sajid, so what? All brought to you by the So What Party. So what, Sajid? So what, son? So what, Sajid? This country is almost done. But since So What, Sajid has posed the question, let's try to answer it. According to the Office for National Statistics, in London, only 36.8% of the population are, uh, quote, white British. That's to say, English, Welsh, Scottish, Northern Irish. I should declare up front, I don't really have a dog in this fight. Uh, I don't have a drop of any of those various bloods in me. My uh, paternal grandmother uh, was Irish, but from south of the border. So for some reason, the Office of National Statistics uh, regards her as foreign, although that's not how I think of it. Uh, anyway, to all that, uh, so what, Sajid sneers, so what, so what? Well, it's odd, outside of conquest by war, to become a minority in your own capital city within a generation. If the BBC reported that Tokyo is now only 36.8% Japanese, it would be odd. If The Guardian reported that Peking was now only 36.8% Chinese, it would be odd. If Lagos in Nigeria fell within nothing flat to 36.8% black, if New Delhi's current population of 90% Hindu fell to 36.8% Hindu, it would be odd, odd. And just to keep it non-racial, if Budapest suddenly announced it was 36.8% Hungarian, or Kyiv were only 36.8% Ukrainian, it would be odd. Especially if, like, so what Sajid and the so what party, your base voted to, quote, take back control of the borders, and you... So what Sajid and so what Boris and so what Theresa all represented yourselves as the fellows who would do it, who would take back control. This week, Albanians took control 
of the streets of central London and Christian Wakeford, who was elected as a crap conservative, but earlier this year crossed the floor to join Labour. Sneed, what's the big deal? Only 0.4% of the UK population is Albanian. 0.4% of 67 million is 268,000 which is 10% of the entire population of Albania now living in the UK. What are they doing when they're not doing wheelies in their Mercs and Lamborghinis on Westminster Bridge? Well, here's the non-native prison population of the UK in 2022. And uh, rocketing up to hit sound number one there, right out of nowhere, straight in at number one, with close to twice as many jailbirds as their nearest rivals are the Albanians. And given that under Britain's pitiful, useless, so what constabulary, only 1.3% of reported crimes even result in a charge or summons, I'd say that's probably a rather severe undercount of their criminality. Still, we can always use more Albanians, right? The Guardian's George Monbeo tweets, I was brought up in a village that was almost exclusively white and Christian. It was the most boring and stifling place I've ever known. Well, don't worry about it, George. On these numbers, they'll all be gone soon. Let me know what you think, GB Views at GBNews.uk. So what? Says so what, Sajid, but it means something. The only question is precisely what. The eminent historian, Dr. 